something, we'll get things underway. Um, my name's David, I'm from the uh, sale branch, and um, I'm a catchment officer for this area. Alan sends his apologies. His uh, wife's not too well at the moment, she's in hospital, so we'll send her apologies. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Danny for coming down, and uh, CFA board member James beside him, uh, Bob from the uh, deputy mayor over there, and our uh, group officer over here. We have some apologies from Senator Rick Muir and uh, Darren Chester MP and the Mayor of Wel uh, Wellington Shire, Darren uh, McCubbin and Alan, I've given apologies for Alan. Um, we, we've got a proceedings and a process that we're going to go through. So we're going to break from our proceedings today. We just want to um, ask Cole if he can come up and say a few words and um, we'll uh, let Cole have some words and then we're going to um, get him over here and we'll open the station. And then we'll go back to what we're doing prior to that. So I'll hand you over to Cole. Okay, um, thanks everyone for coming. Um, sorry about that out of action at the moment, but uh, I've got a good deputy and John who's been running things well. Um, there's a few thank yous as far as this extension and the work that's been done um, in this that I'd like to make sure that I can aid. Um, first of all, Alan, um, for his wondrous engineering works and pumps and the pipes and whatever. Um, put me up the tanks. Um, Neil, where's Neil? Um, thank Neil for uh, his tireless efforts in um, scrounging. <laughs> negotiating with the Shire for building permits and negotiating with Vic Roads and, and then uh, liaising with the building the people in the CFA to get this extension done. And the big new upper concrete in the front. We felt that um, needed to be said not just for this extension but, but for the original office as well. And uh, I'd like to call Neil up. Thank you, Neil, for all the hard work in uh, committing yourself to the project and being a project manager. Thank you. Thank you. All right, that's all right. Um, I'll ask Danny and James to both come up, please, and Bob, if you could. Lily can come. <laughs> it's a, um, I'll ask James to give, to give a speech, but I mean, you all can see what's here, the people that are here supporting everybody. Cole's here, you know, the evidence is in the fire station. So I'll just ask James to say a couple of words. Yeah, so I'd just like to uh, thank all of the people who were involved in the creation of this extension and your contribution to CFA and like to officially open the station. We have a cake over here, we'll just get a, a photo of the cake and we'll go from there.
of that medal in a moment. But when we submit these national medal nominations, we attach some background material as well to justify the, um, the medal for each of those recipients. So I'll now pull that read out this. We should have had a paper copy, but unfortunately, that didn't arrive. So it goes, national medal nomination supporting material, Colin Pomeroy, Longford Brigade. Colin, or Cole Pomeroy, commenced service with Longford Brigade on the 14th of the 11th, 1988 and has provided continuous and invaluable service to CFA. The summary of Cole's service history of the Bank of the Day follows. On the 14th of the 11th, 1988, commenced service of Longford Brigade on the 1st of the 7th, 1991 to the 30th of the 6th, 1995, third lieutenant. On the 1st of the 7th, 1995 to the 2nd of the 4th, 2001, first lieutenant. 10th and 4th, 2001 to the 30th of the 6th, 2011, Captain. 1st of the 7th, 2003 to the 30th of the 6th, 2011, 5th Deputy Group Officer with Stratford Group. On the 1st of the 7th, 2011 to the 30th of the 6th, 2013, 2nd Lieutenant. 24th of the 10th, 1998 to the 28th of the 2nd, 2000, employed by CFA in roles as casual, casual facilitator and casual push, push by the center. And from the 1st of the 7th, 2015, Cole has been reappointed to Brigade Captain. Additional service includes Brigade Delegate to the Rutland Shire Council's Municipal Fire Prevention Committee from 1991 to 1999. Brigade Delegate to the District Tech Volunteer Corps Fire Brigade Committee from 2003 to 2005. District 10, Victorian Rural Fire Brigades Association, and that's late called the um, Volunteer Fire Brigades Victoria Secretary and or Chairperson President. Brigade Delegate to the Stradbury Group and frequently committing himself to represent the Longford Fire Brigade at District 10 meetings or community events. Assisted wildfire instructors for a number of training events, including brigade and group training, training and assessor, this file included training and assessing numerous brigade members and members for other brigades to achieve their minimum skills. Competencies. The busiest times being the early 2000s with the introduction of minimum skills, assisting, uh, assistance uh, Cole provided to other brigades including Mount Taylor, Sea Spray, Kundala and Stratford. Active duty during numerous Gippsland and interstate campaign fires. Attended the 1998 SA Longford gas plant explosion as a firefighter during the initial response, then assigned to District 10 Headquarters Office during, during uh, office duties relating to the fire. Participated in numerous campaign fires as crew leader and, as crew leader and strike team leader, including 1998 Alpine fires. Mundara fires, 2003 East, East Gippsland fires, the 2006 La Trove W9 fires. Also the 2009 Black Saturday Napier Road 19 fires, and the coal and the family fires. <coughs> Included in community engagement activities, including community events, street corner meetings with the aim of promoting the Longford Fire Brigade fire safety preparedness messages. And there's more. <laughs> Cole completed his structural wildfire uh, investigation course on the 14th of the 2nd, 2005, and up until now has been actively involved in fire investigation. Cole has been a committed, valued and energetic member of the Longford Fire Brigade and is considered the most worthy recipient of the National Medal. And that was signed by then Captain Alan Wilson and First Lieutenant John Dillon. <coughs> Thank you. 
Um, I could have put my glasses. Thanks, Kyle. Thank you. Thanks, man. I'll just read a uh, piece. The Royal Warrant. The National Medal was in instituted by the letters patent granted by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II of Australia on the 14th of February 1975. Its purpose is to enable Her Majesty to honour those who have served in the Australian Police Forces, Australian Fire Services, Australian Ambulance Services, Australian Protective Services, Australian Correctional Services, and Australian Emergency Services. The decoration consists of a circular bronze medal with a full Australian coat of arms contained within a rim of carrying the inscription National Medal. For service, it is, it is suspended by a crown with a plain bar attached to the ribbon of 15 alternative gold and blue stripes symbolising 15 years of service. This is awarded by Her Majesty to the Fire Service Member for his diligent service for a period of 15 years. And what you've heard before was amazing, like it's probably older than me, but that's amazing and thanks Cole. And that goes to the other two recipients, Alan and John, who are going to get there. So um, that's what we're up to at the stage. So thank you, Cole. Thank you. All right. If I may excuse, um, thanks everybody for coming. And uh, we'll hopefully see you soon. Uh, if, I, if I escape this next week, which I'm supposed to, I'll be having three weeks. <laughs> We'll, um, we'll carry on back to where we were supposed to be. Um, I've thanked everybody for coming. We'll do a, um, an official um, welcome to the indig Indigenous people and the acknowledgements. So I'd like to acknowledge the <coughs> Kurnai Ai, Kurnai Ai uh, people, who are the traditional custodians of the land on which we are gathered, and pay my respects to their elders, both in the past and present. Um, so I'll invite John Miller up now. John's here. He'll, um, he'll give us a talk on the long for Fire Brigade and um, what's been happening and where we are today. Well, I did prepare a couple of notes, but uh, maybe everyone's already been set. Yes, talk. I'd like to welcome, you've already been welcome, but I welcome you again. Welcome the uh, people from the community, people from the CFA, from our group, from the various brigades that are here, and from our Longford Brigade itself. And of course the families from the rally who uh, support brigade members, and without them, you know, nothing would happen because we're here so often for such long times. Somehow we did raise the money and we got the slip on uh, through all our fundraising activities and through a grant. And when we got the slip on, all our money disappeared again. But we were still talking about this extension. And, uh, and as you know, Neil, he's uh, very good at project managing these sorts of things. And somehow uh, he must have had it in his mind all the plans that he'd have to put in place to get this end of the building done. You see. And uh, then uh, everybody in the brigade who uh, participated in, in the fundraising activities we had, and there's, there's lots of things that happen. There's the, up in the store there, there's a, um, a jar up there that people drop their coins into, and every now and then we get a couple hundred dollars from there, and, and Richie's IGA, they give us few dollars every month and then there's the tractor pull always happening. That's a good one. We think about five hundred dollars or more from that every time we go down there. And there's lots of other things that happen. The, to bring money into the brigade, we were told one stage that we need a financial plan because we can't just 
society and money up a million interest, but I don't think we had that much money to start with. Uh, anyway, so we saved up our money and Neil went to work along with all other various members of the brigade and finally we got that extension there. And uh, then we did the concrete work outside and as you can see this one out the front brand new. We can drive on it now, but our gravel's too wet so we can't drive on the gravel as we will have it open today. And we had a lot of help from our local tradespeople who donated their time and effort to us and their suppliers who donated some material that we used. And there's only one thing left to do now, and that's to paint our floor. We, we tried to get the floor paint, painted before the opening, but uh, we put our time and effort into a new piece of concrete instead. We'll paint the floor next week or the week after. And uh, I'd like to thank all those people who have been involved, those people in the brigade who have been involved to get us to this stage. There's been a lot of hard work going, not only in to get the centre of the building finished, but the work that goes into uh, serving in the brigade with our primary businesses protecting the community. There's a lot of time and effort goes in and a lot of people uh, spend lots of time here and sacrifice a great deal of time in achieving what we're supposed to be all about. I'd like to hand the time back to, I'd like to thank you all very much and hand the time back to Dave. Um, first I'll ask um, Jane Collins if you'd like to come up and give us a word of wisdom. Yes. <laughs> um, so, distinguished guests, um, brigade members, uh, other CFA members, family and friends, good afternoon. It is good to be here for the official opening of the second extension here at Longford. And it's really pleasing to see how the community have come together to build a facility for the community. But before I do so, I'd like to talk for a minute about one of CFA values, which is working together as one or together. And what does this mean for us? Well, to, for us to be successful in our service delivery, we have to work closely with each other. And you saw that in the discussion of, or the presentation or the citation of the National Medal for Colin, where it's not only Longford, but across the state that there's been a large range of participations. So it's other brigades, it's community, but it's also other emergency services. The old adage, or the way we used to work, uh, is gone and there is no I in team anymore in emergency management in Victoria. But why do I raise this value? Because this brigade exemplifies this value. The extension to this station was only possible through the hard work of the brigade in the region, and as you saw today in particular, the work of Neil. I would like to thank all of those who made it possible for this second extension um, to, to occur, and to recognise that this 44 member strong brigade does a fantastic job of serving its community all year round. Longford has a proud history dating back almost 70 years. I think, uh, in my brief, it was 69 and a 40 years, and has protected its, the community faithfully for all of that time. The South Gippsland Highway travelling through Longford Brigade area is the northern gateway to the Gippsland Lake and the coastal areas. Therefore, you have a considerable number of holiday makers travelling through this area in the summer. As a result, the Brigade area is at risk from fire, from unattended campfires, motor vehicle accidents and chemical spills from the heavy transport vehicles that go through this area. You also have plantations and natural forests that add to the risk in this area. This new station that we've opened today will be a great new resource for this small but strong brigade. The extension and refurbishment works have achieved improved facilities for all weather member training, vehicle access and improved storage. Brigades members will have a more comfortable and functional space in place to stay when on standby at the fire station on days of high fire danger. I'm very confident that this new extension to the Longford Fire Station will improve the Brigade's firefighting capacity 
and we will see this brigade continue to protect its community for many years to come. We are also here today to acknowledge and, ex and celebrate the wonderful commitment of Longford Brigade members with the presentation of service awards, national medal, and national emergency medals today. The service awards range from 15 to 35 years service and just show how dedicated members of this brigade are. I would like to extend a special uh, congratulations today to Russell Haywood, who today receives a medal for 35 years of service to the CFA and his community. On behalf of the CFA board, to all Longford members and others present today, can I thank you for your outstanding and unwavering support to your community and to the CFA. But in some ways, more importantly, I would also like to thank your family, partners and friends who support you and provide you the space and capacity to contribute to CFA and your community. So thank you very much, and it's an honour to be here to have opened the station with you. Thank you. James and to Councillor Bob Wenger, our, uh, our acting mayor at the moment, uh, uh, to uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's great to be here. Um, I must say, James and I were just talking, you know, he said that uh, last week he was opening an extension at a place called Bamorm Extension. Uh, so he was doing the Bamorm Extension Extension. Uh, perhaps here he's just doing the long, the long thing. <laughs> but, uh, uh, but it is good to, to, uh, to be back here. Uh, before we were talking as well, and someone said we're always letting more volunteers. Perhaps you can come and join up, Daddy. Well, last time I was here, as I was reminded, uh, he tipped a bucket of ice cold water over my head. So uh, uh, I'd actually went and joined the sail brigade after that. But, uh, but look, uh, I'd just like to quickly echo uh, Dave and Paul and John's and James' were, uh, words. Uh, and in particular to, to thank you all as volunteers and family and friends and volunteers who support uh, those volunteers who look after our community so well. Uh, James outlined all the reasons why uh, Longford uh, is critical with the, uh, the gas plant, the tourism, the industry around here, but also naturally a growing area. And I know uh, the Shire has just signed off on uh, the Longford plan for the next, um, how long is it, Bob, 30 years? Longer than that, um, but we know Longford is growing, and um, so I, I really do thank you all for your efforts. Um, not just the efforts in raising the money, funny, the, the money, and the uh, and uh, getting the applications in for VCF and the various other grants that you've got to to make this extension happen, but for the money you've raised, but more importantly for the hours uh, upon hours that you all put in uh, to keep our community safe. So thank you for doing that, and it's uh, great to be here and uh, and see this new extension. There's plenty of work in the high electric to get uh, uh, brigades, uh, uh, get new stations and get uh, extensions and that up and going. So it's nice to be a one that's done uh, and may have worked well for you for a long, a long time to come. But thank you and congratulations again.
So that's what. Do you still have a cricket club here at all? No, no. it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> I should have left him here. Anyway, look, I go to Longford all the time. That's on the way to council, and, and I know with the council we're we're trying to improve Longford by with the, the new the new plan to uh, with the land rezoning, and I'm hoping that in the future it's going to grow and be something special for you. But uh, and hopefully we'll be able to get some more attention to the shed and a new fire truck for you. And I'll work hard for uh, But anyway, thank you very much for giving me the time to speak. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulate the Longford Brigade on, on this, and I know there's some members here that have put in a lot, a lot of time over many years to get these extensions up and running, and it's a credit to you. Longford Brigade is a very important brigade to, to our group. You're usually uh, mostly a fire of the way down there, and it takes that end of the group a long time to get down there, and you people are always out and on the road well before we can sort of get up the hill. So, you know, you're a very important part of the group and uh, with these extensions, it will hopefully it will attract a few more members for you because that's the biggest issue that we've got at the moment. Congratulations for the next uh, few years. Thank you. Anybody here for metal? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 
Ian Crawford's a 30 year medal, service medal award. He's not here. He's here. We've got one. Hang on. He's got a lot. <laughs>
on the 2nd of the 4th, 2001, to the 30th of the 6th, 2003, 3rd Lieutenant, on the 1st of the 7th, 2003, to the 30th of the 6th, 2011, 1st Lieutenant, from 2003, I'm briefly assumed the role of captain, while the captain-elect was called away with work, usually over the summer months for, an extent, uh, for extended periods. On the 1st on the 1st of the 11th, 2011, to the present, Captain. Additional service includes attended the 1998 SA Longford gas explosion as a firefighter over, over numerous ship rotations, took on duty as an apparatus officer, we now call that the third lieutenant, and delegated roles as required, brigade training officer from 2003 to the present as a, tra as a trainer and assessor and driving instructor. This role includes numerous brigade members completing minimum skills training under Alan's duties. Chief fundraiser for brigade's office and office and meeting room extension between 2000 and 2004. This involved organising and running a range of activities including small option or car boot sales, spinning wheel, rock and rolls, uh, rock and rollers activities, etc. Fire Brigade represented on the Longford Hall Community Reserve Committee, assisted wildlife, wildfire instructors for a number of training events, including brigade and group training. Completed minimum skills assessments for members from Mount Taylor, Sea Spray, Maryvale, Stratford. Brigade delegate to the Stratford Group from 2007 to the present. Participated in numerous campaign fires as crew leader and strike team leader including Ringara fires, 2003 East Gippsland fires, 2006 La Trobe Valley mine fires, 2009 Black Saturday Napier Road Longmont fires. Community engagement activities including community events, spread quarter meetings with the aim of promoting the Longford Fire Brigade and fire safety messages. And I told this. A driving force will establish and maintain well-informed and prepared community groups under the community fire guard structure, frequently committing himself to represent all the fire brigade at meetings and community events, while few or no other members are available to assist. Alan has been a committed, valued and energetic member of the Longford Fire Brigade and is considered the most worthy recipient of the National Medal. That was signed and approved by John Miller, First Lieutenant, and Julie Jewell, second of supporting material John Miller, Longford Brigade. John Miller served with the Australian Air Force from 26 of the 2nd, 1964 to the 1st of the 3rd, 1985, in which he received the following medal of awards. Note that four of these were presented some years after his active service and therefore do not appear on the attached certificate of service. So the year of the presentation, 1970, the medal was uh, returned from active service badge, 1970, Republic of Vietnam campaign medal, 1970 the Vietnam medal, 1971 Vietnamese unit citation, gallantry, cross with pun, 1984 
the national bill. And we don't have a date for this one, but the United States Air Force had standing unit award with combat versus the defence device. In 1986, Defence Force Service Medal with first class. 2007, the Australian Defence Medal. 2007, the Australian Active Service Medal with class, Vietnam. 2007, the Australian Service Medal with class, Southeast Asia. John's membership with Longford Fire Brigade commenced on the 16th of the 12th, 2004, and since then he has provided continuous and invaluable service to CFA. A summary of John's service history with Longford Brigade fires. The 16th of the 12th, 2004, commenced service with Longford Fire Brigade. The 1st of the 7th, 2007, to the 30th of the 6th, 2009, fourth lieutenant. 1st of the 7th, 2009, to the 30th of the 6th, 2011, second lieutenant. On the 1st of the 7th, 2011, to the present time, first lieutenant. Additional service includes Brigade Delegate to the District Head Volunteer Fire Brigades Victoria from the 1st of the 7th, 2011 to the present. Brigade Delegate to the Wellington Shires Council Municipal Fire Prevention Committee from 2005 to 2011. Brigade Delegate to the Stradbroke Group from the 1st of the 7th, 2013 to the present time. Community engagement activities including community events, street corner meetings with the aim of promoting all the fire brigade and fire safety preparedness messages. Active firefighter during numerous Gippsland campaign fires. Crew leader during numerous local incidents and campaign fires. Participated at numerous campaign fires as crew member and crew leader, including Mundara fires 2003, East Gippsland fires, 2006 La Trade Valley mine fires, crew leader and strike team leader during 2009 Black Saturday and the Napier Road one one fires, a reliable and constant support to the captain and brigade training officer, assisted wildfire instructors during a number of training events including brigade and group training, frequently committing himself to represent the Longford Fire Brigade at District 10 meetings or community events. For 21 years of service John has given to the Royal Australian Air Force plus at least 10 years of diligent service for CFA is worthy of consideration for the National Air Force class. John has been a committed, valued and energetic member of Longford Fire Brigade and is considered the most worthy recipient of the National Medal First Class. And that was signed by Alan Wilson and Julie Jewell on the 2nd of July.